let's create some 3D text. Let's go File New, go 800 by 600 pixels, click OK. We use the text tool and we make the font large. I chose a dark blue color. I'm going to just uh, move it here. And now the thing about 3D text is if you have Photoshop extended version, CS6 extended, you're going to have actually additional features relating to 3D. So we don't have the extended version, so we're just going to uh, try the old technique. Uh, another way to get 3D text in is to use another program such as Illustrator or some 3D modeling program. But let's try this interesting technique in Photoshop. You click on your text layer, you make sure the Move tool is, is selected, and we're going to press Alt. So let me just uh, move this layer down a bit. And I'm going to go, I'm going to click Alt Up. And if you keep pressing Alt Up, it's going to uh, Alt Up, 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 many times. And you can see I created about 20 layers holding down Alt Up. I uh, did this. If one Alt button doesn't work, try the other Alt button. Hopefully that one works. So the way I did it is I pressed Alt Up. Alt Up actually makes, it basically makes a copy of the layer and it creates a new layer and it moves it up one pixel. If I press Alt right, it creates a copy of the layer and moves it right one pixel. So what I could have done is also, I, I could have went Alt up, Alt right, Alt up. I could have held down the Alt button and press up right, up right, up right, up right to make it go diagonally, but this is good enough for now. I'm gonna double click this top layer and I'm gonna change the color overlay, click in the middle and I'm just going to choose a lighter version of that same color. So because I chose blue, I'm going to choose a light version of blue. Click OK. I'm also going to add a bevel emboss. So the idea of a bevel emboss, if you play around with the size, you see what's happening here is it's truly adding some more 3D depth. I kind of like the idea of a chisel hard as opposed to smooth option and it really makes it look 3D. So let me just make it like that. And click on OK. So we have a 3D text. Something else we can optionally do is to hold, click, on, click on the top layer, scroll down, hold the shift click to select them all. We can right click. We can rasterize it, which means make it into uh, no longer editable text, but rather it's it's now can treat it as a picture. We can right click, merge the layers. So now we have one layer here. So what I'll do now is I'm going to create a new layer, drag it down. We can make the uh, background layer dark gray. So I'll just choose a dark gray color here use the paint bucket tool to fill it in. Let me make it a bit darker. So that's good enough actually. So what we'll do now is we'll create a layer on top of this and we're going to create a ellipse tool and we'll change the option to uh, shape. Let's make the fill white. see that the fill is white. So what we'll do is we'll click such that it's around maybe this much of the height. And so we have a solid white ellipse on top of the 3D text. And then you can try playing with the uh, blending options here. If you click on normal and then just hit the down arrow, you can fly through these options until we get something nice. So we drew the white shape on top of the 3D text layer. We choose the setting to soft light. And if you notice that it's uh, going out of bounds, that you don't want it to, 
just right click and create clipping mask. Finally, let's double click the text layer again. Let's add one more option. Let's create a nice uh, drop shadow. Click in the middle of drop shadow. And uh, because we have the light source uh, coming from above, we're going to change the angle to uh, 90 degrees. And you can also play with the different uh, distance spread size settings. But there we go, we have some nice 3D text.